Yeah, so, so thanks, Lawrence, for the time. You talked yesterday about the, the notion of entitlement, and I'm really interested in, in hearing your thoughts, A, about how you arrived at that idea, and maybe translating it particularly in terms of what you see that many for young people at the school level. Yeah. So I came to understand the sense of entitlement by recognizing a radically different experience that people in authority have in this world yeah. versus the experience they had even in a world just 20 years ago. So, you know, this is a world, the network has created a world where everybody feels entitled to question somebody else, you know. So there's no, there's no authority, there's no like being the professor of law from Harvard in X that entitles you to say, here's what the truth is. Um, there's an opening, you know, here's the professor of law from Harvard who says here's what the truth is and that's a way of beginning a conversation where some 15 year old could say look I've just spent the last six months studying everything I can about the history of the 14th amendment and, you're, and what you've said is just crap and here's the right answer, you know, and, and, and we've come to this place where um, it's wonderful but where young, a younger generation just believes it's their right to be as involved and as engaged as anybody. And I, I think that's something to be celebrated and encouraged. Um, but I think that you can, if once you recognize it, you can see how in a wide range of internet contexts, the sense of entitlement has driven enormous creativity and engagement right. that before was uh, presumed to be disqualified. So I guess that's where there's a tension in some ways, because schools tend to be notoriously hierarchical um, and have that notion of authority. And on the other hand, we're talking about how we can release creativity. I wonder if you've got any thoughts on some, some practical things or some specific things for school leaders in particular and how they might create the environment where that happens more for kids. Yeah, I mean, there's no choice uh, for a teacher or a school to make about whether they're going to run a hierarchical educational system or not. They can't. If they run one, they will fail. Um, what they've got to do is run an educational system that is open to um, this pushback from the students. And I won't say pushback from below, it's push back from a side, right? It's like increasingly what you want is students to feel that they are as entitled as anybody. Um, not because they are necessarily, obviously they don't know everything, but because Putting them in that framework is actually the best way to get them to be the most engaged. Now, I think, you know, the the way that we teach law in the United States um, at the best law schools is a is a kind of model of this. You know, when you start as a law student at the Harvard Law School, your first class, um, contracts class or torts class, uh, you're given a case, you read it, and from the first moment, the professor asks you questions as if you're a lawyer. Right? Yeah. You don't know anything, but, but you are in, expected to, to be in a position where you can begin to engage this as an equal with anybody else. Um, and by setting up this frame where you treat them as if they are equals, even if they're not, as if they're equals, you inspire them to be much more engaged and interested in what you're doing than if you, you know, sort of set up a lecture relationship where you're just spewing stuff to them that they're supposed to be putting down in their notebook. So as you know, we have an infrastructure of the internet that says, don't just watch a video, remix the video, or don't just listen to music, remix the music, or make the music with a video and, and put it out there for 100,000 people to see. Um, you know, that ethic, when, gets, when you carry it into a school, is obviously going to produce very strong conflict with uh, a, hierarchical, a hierarchical conception of what education is supposed to be. Mm -hmm.